question 7 in 2021 is a triathlon course three sessions and in order to complete the triathlon they must swim 4k from c to b four kilometer swim label your diagram they must cycle from b to a this is our cycle not given the distance and then run 28 kilometers from a to c this is my run section Mary can cycle at an average speed of 25 kilometers an hour and it takes her one hour and 12 minutes to cycle from b to a so we're given time one hour 12 which is equal to 1.2 hours 12 min minutes being a fifth of 60. we also have her speed which is equal to 25 so distance is equal to 25 multiplied by 1.2 which is 30 kilometers so put our 30 in here so the total is equal to 28 plus 4 which is 32 plus 30 which is 62 kilometers which is what we were asked to show part 2 on average, Mary can run five times as fast as she can swim. Sorry, 5.6 times as fast as she can swim. It takes her 4.8 hours to complete the course. Well, she's already, what has she done? She has cycled. She has cycled for 1.2 hours. So 4.8 minus 1.2. So the total for the run and the swim is 3.6 hours. So find her average speed, her average swimming speed. Well, what do we know? We know that she's running 28 and the speed that she runs at, we don't know, let's call it X. So if X is equal to running speed, she it needs to be smaller for swim. So you'd have to divide by the 5.6 for swimming speed so if we add these two together 28 divided by x plus there's going to be the time that's the time taken to run plus four is the swimming distance and that's going to be divided by x over 5.6 will be equal to 3.6 hours so these are my times taken to complete each event so tidying this up 28 over x plus the 5.6 goes on top four fives are 20 so 22.4 over x equals 3.6 so same denominator so we can just add them together so we're going to get 50.4 over x equals 3.6 so x is equal to 50.4 divided by 3.6 504 over 36 x works out to be even 14 kilometers an hour which was the run that's her run speed so swim x over 5.6 14 over 5.6 she is swimming at 2.5 kilometers an hour Part C show that ACB is equal to 116.5, correct to 1 dp. So let's go back and look at the diagram. ACB 116.5. So here we have ACB. So this is the cosine rule. So we have a triangle, we have a 30, a 28, and a 4. So the only unknown is the angle. So cosine rule A squared is equal to B squared plus C squared minus 2bc cos a will enable me to find the angle so all we need to know is that the a is the angle and the a attached to it is the side opposite so this 30 will have to be my a here so 30 squared is equal to it doesn't matter the order of the b and the c 28 squared plus 4 squared minus 2 by 28 by 4 by the cos of a so to get the cos of a on its own we're going to say 
well we bring the cos a to the right first we just make that positive by bringing it to the right then on the left we're going to have sorry on the left on the right we're going to have 28 squared plus 4 squared minus 30 squared and we're going to divide that by the 2 by 28 by 4 and that's what the cos of a will be equal to so in your calculator get the cos of a so the cos of a should work out to be minus 25 over 56 and the inverse cos of this gives a to be 116.514 and we were asked correct to one decimal place so 116.5 degrees for the angle a in part d you're asked to find the area inside the triangle after telling you stuff about safety regulations and all this kind of stuff but it's really just area inside the triangle half a b sin c we'll give you the area of a triangle which is half one side by another side by the sign of the angle in between them so the 116.5 is the angle that we have and the two sides in between that was the 28 and the 4 so this works out to be 50.1 correct one decimal place 50.1 kilometers squared in part e we're asked to find the shortest distance from point c to the side a b so just a quick sketch of the diagram we have our 116.5 shortest distance is down this way giving us a right angle here we don't have this angle here we have the swim part we have the run part and we have the cycle part so to get this angle we need to use the triangle without the drop down we could use the sine rule here and say 28 over the sine of the angle a call this one a is equal to 30 over the sine of the angle 116.5 so 28 by the sine of 116.5 is equal to 30 sine a so I'll bring the 30 underneath and write what the sine of a is the sine of a is equal to 0.83 I'll just take five decimals because the sixth is 0 83527 well 2 I'll leave it at the 2 and the inverse sine of this will give me a so a is equal to to one decimal place I'll take 56 Point six degrees so if a is 56.6 and then I create this new triangle here I'll just draw it down here a is in here 56.6 the right angle is this one here which is 4 we're looking for the perpendicular which is x so we have opposite and hypotenuse so I can say the sine 56.6 is equal to O X over H so 4 by the sine 56.6 will give me the shortest distance X so that's equal to 3.3 .3 kilometers correct to one decimal place now we could check the area of the triangle here half the base by the perpendicular height will give me the area of this triangle half the base is 30 by the perpendicular height of 3.3 .3. what's this going to give me gives me 50.1 kilometer squared which is what we got in the last part so you can check here actually that you have progressed nicely to part e let's look at part f part f we're told the course is viewed by from a camera there which is here ta the angle of elevation from t to b so let's try and connect t to b in one go it's more like a kind of function of a plane landing on a straight line but you get the drift and in here there's this tiny angle of elevation 0 0.05 so let's just do our triangle we have this angle of 0 0.05 we also have AB which was 30 which is here and we have X the height of the tower so two straight sides will be tan so the tan of 0 0.05 is equal to the opposite over the adjacent x over 30 
so 30 tan 0 0.05 would have to be the height of the tower so x is equal to 0 0.0261799 and if you go back to your question correct to the nearest meter will tell you that you're currently dealing in kilometers so we do need to move the decimal by a thousand three decimals to get it one two three so see here 26.18 meters which is equal to 26 meters for the height of the tower